injuries, just kind of start from head to toe. Uh, Hearing all this. I had a traumatic brain injury. Uh, this ear was almost completely ripped off. It's hard to believe. Did a pretty good job of sewing it back on. What happened to Matt Brazil? Uh, collapsed lung. Could have been worse. Multiple broken ribs. How many surgeries did you have? I've had 68 so far. A police chase suspect hit and nearly killed the Fort Worth police officer in 2020. As he healed, a foundation called Assist the Officer stepped in to help. And you lose that money, you're not expecting to lose that, that income. Um, yeah, I mean, it helps out a lot. It's a, really an indescribable feeling to be able to help a family. Sergeant Anthony White and retired officer Hector Melendez founded the Tarrant County nonprofit. It provides money to injured officers and to the families of fallen ones. We hope we never have to use it because we don't want an officer injured or killed in the line of duty, but unfortunately it's just the nature of what happens. This week, it happened again. Fort Worth police say a driver killed Sergeant Billy Randolph as he worked a wreck on I-35W early Monday. Another officer down call from the side of another busy road. I kind of ask myself, you know, why made it, you know, or why didn't somebody else make it? Now, he's working with the same foundation that helped him to raise money for Officer Randolph's family. This is just a little something to help them to get through uh, the hard times and until they can get back on their feet. With their help, Brazil expects to be back on his feet and on the job again this fall. I'm excited. I'm ready to go back. Can't wait to put my uniform back on. In Fort Worth, I'm Cole Sullivan.